So one of the requests that I get frequently is uh, users want the ability to add their own custom fields to a record or be able to remove fields, modify fields, or reorder them. So this video will cover how to do that. And so once you learn the skill set, really the repetition is the mother of mastery. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. But there are several steps to it. And the first one assumes that you are the admin of Salesforce or the first user who has access to the setup item, setup menu rather. And setup can be accessed from the top right. It looks like a gear icon. Click on the gear icon, click on setup. And that will change the screen. And once the screen loads, you want to click on the Object Manager tab. And the next step here will depend on what is the area you're looking to modify. So if I want to add a field to a contact record, then I would scroll down and find Contact. It's in alphabetical order. And click on it. Or if I wanted to make a modification or a change to a property record, I would just scroll down and find the P's for property and click on that. In this example, I'm going to add a field for a LinkedIn profile so that a person can populate the LinkedIn profile for a contact. And so I'll make that change on a contact record. Click on contact. Okay. And no matter what you're changing, you'll be presented with uh, the same sort of layout here. And where you want to go is fields and relationships. What will display on the right is a list of the existing fields. You may not see all of them. Some may be hidden from the view when you when you um, are in the form. We wouldn't worry too much about that per se, but if you want to create your own custom field, go ahead and click on New. And from here, you really want to define what kind of information you're looking to add or track. So in my case, LinkedIn is really a website or a URL, and I want it to be valid in a real actual website, so I would pick this. Um, you do have other options, obviously, like date or checkbox, currency, just depends on the information you're looking to collect. If you want someone to um, pick values from a drop-down, that's called pick list, so that would be a pick list or multi-select if you want them to select more than one. Um, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and do URL, and next, I'm going to call the field something. So in my case, I'll just call it linked in profile, and next, you could just follow the prompts. You don't really need to worry about what else happens here. Next, and save. And that's all you really need to do. The next step is optional, which is to decide where it should go. And so I click on page layouts on the left and contact layout. And this is just gives you a little bit more control over where that field appears on the form. So you could scroll down a bit and I could see that it put the field over here. And so I can drag and drop it to the top or to the right or to the bottom or wherever you see fit and save. such that when I just go to the front end and I go to create a new contact record, I should be able to immediately see that field there. Now, if you wanted to add a different field type, and I'll just go back to the browser tab up top where the object manager is still open. And let's say I wanna make a modification to the account record. And again, fields and relationships. And this time, instead of adding a new field, I want to modify an existing field called account type. And account type is a pick list, which again is a drop down. So when I click on it and scroll down a bit, I should be able to see the values that I have here for account types. And if I needed to add any new account type, I can just click on new and add the type so that you might have vendor or client or prospect or whatever values you'd like to add line by line and then save and then they'll be modified to that drop down. Alternatively, if you need to, let's say, make an adjustment on the property record, again, object manager, property, fields and relationships, and a new field. And this time that field is called pick list or click list multi-select. And then you would name your list. So let's say that I want it to be 
um, potentially a field called you know, markets maybe, which is arbitrary here, and you would then select enter values with each value separated by a new line and enter all of the values, you know, A, B, C, and so forth, and just follow the prompts next, 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 and you'll be able to save it and see it on the form. The caveat with properties is that when you go to page layouts to see where it went on the form, you might see multiple. And so because properties have different layouts, it's not just one unique one, you'd have to make that change on any or all layouts that you feel you might be using. So you'd have to do that exercise of dragging and dropping um, and saving it on that layout. So hopefully that helps uh, teach you how to add or modify any fields on a record.